welcome to Do It. I am Anders, and today we are talking about a video I have waited a very long time to make. This is what I had hoped would be the Glowforge unboxing video. I saw the commercial for the Glowforge a couple of years back, and the design caught my eye right away. It was a gorgeous piece of machinery, and what they did with it was even more impressive. They have a camera on the inside, so there was autofocus. It was incredible what they did. They engraved right on top of a MacBook. They could cut the width of a human hair, and I was sold. So I put my money down, and I waited, and I waited, and I waited, and I waited, because five separate times they told me that there would be a hard shipping date where I would get my Glowforge shipped to me and five separate times I was shut down. So fool me once, shame on you. Fool me five times, shame on me I guess. But what I'm really here to talk to you about is what I did with the money that I got back because it is something I am insanely excited about. So, let's get into a K40 laser review. So I thought, so I thought I needed food. So it may be the beast to the Glowforge's beauty, but I found it on eBay. I placed an order and a week later it showed up at my door. So it's got about a two year head start. There are some cons I want to warn you about right away. I haven't had an alignment issue with my machine, but I've seen some online. So I'm going to leave a link in the description to DIY 3D Tech. This guy gave an incredible step-by-step -step tutorial on how to fix a laser misalignment and um, I would highly recommend his video. It's incredibly thorough. The only real problem that I experienced happened to be with the software and the software came on a DVD and I thought it would have been on the USB um, so that was my first issue. Then I got it down and I was trying to use it on the K40 and it just didn't work. I kept getting this USB key out error. So um, I went online and I looked um, in some forums and found uh, a YouTube channel called Scorchworks. And this guy has created an open source software for the K40 that works seamlessly with Inkscape. So I will highly recommend that and leave a link in the description below. So there are so many things that I love about this machine. The speed in which it was delivered, the price was one-tenth of the Glowforge, the pump and the hose were included for cooling down the machine, um, the ease of use was awesome outside of the software issues, accuracy has been great, the interface I've really enjoyed, very easy to manipulate, the print bed is huge, I think it would be bigger if I could get rid of part of this vent in the back so that might be another video later on um, the community on the Google page has been phenomenal I really learned a lot there are a lot there's a great online community and um, a lot of subreddits about the k40 as well so I'm cautiously optimistic about the potential of this machine I've waited two years to fire the laser so let's have a little fun and then I'll get into a side-by-side -side comparison with the Glowforge and tell you about all the other tools I was able to purchase with the leftover money. Let's go.
work out a head-to-head -head comparison. So when I spent the $2,500 to get the Glowforge at 40% off, that's what I was expecting to receive. Um, I got pushed off five separate times, never ended up getting one. So when I finally asked for my money back, this is what I bought with it. I bought the K40. I bought a CR10, $300 in clamps, a Rikon bandsaw, hammer drill, a Craig circular saw track, a Craig circular saw guide, and I still have $500 to play with. So I'm building out a new shop, and this is something I've wanted to do for a long time, and I have watched tons of maker videos, and I want to be a part of that community, and I really need to build up a base of tools to get a number of different projects done. So when I'm thinking of having a Glowforge, or having all of the things that I ended up purchasing with the Glowforge, to me, it kind of seems like a no-brainer. So when I asked for my money back, I think that was m maybe the smartest decision I've done in terms of a move I could make for my shop. So I feel like a kid in a candy store. I have had so much fun with this machine, and I would definitely recommend it. We'll continue to put it through its paces, but um, we've got a ton more project videos lined up, ready to go. I've got three ready to be released here shortly. So if you are interested in laser cutting, 3D printing, CNCing, I would highly encourage you to subscribe. And if you've got any more life goals I should accomplish with the laser, please leave them in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching.